The Select Committee on Investigations is playing hardball with reluctant witnesses Bridget Kelly and Bill Stepien. The committee members voted along party lines to compel the two to comply with earlier subpoenas. The eight Democrats all voted yes. All four Republicans abstained. Are you suggesting that Bridget Kelly and Bill Stepien have a right not to comply with the subpoenas? No, absolutely not. Uh, my concern with the broad scope of the subpoenas um, was something that I was uh, very concerned about. And we also know that the U.S. Attorney uh, is making some, taking some steps uh, to investigate this matter. So with that going on, I just think it's appropriate for me to be fully certain that we're not violating constitutional rights as this thing goes forward, and that's why I gave the extension today. The Democrats say the Christie staffers Kelly and Stepien cannot hide behind the Fifth Amendment. We came out and passed motions to, in turn, let both of those folks and their attorneys know that in fact we do not believe they have constitutional grounds to stand on the Fifth Amendment for the production of documents before that committee. This is a, a process that we've relied upon counsel's advice to follow uh, that will enable the committee to uh, provide the opportunity for those who are objecting one last shot to provide the documents and in the failure of that uh, to take appropriate legal steps, which I'm not going to get into and discuss what they may be, to enforce the subpoena. So a, a variation on what we did last time. The committee met behind closed doors for over two hours this afternoon and will be issuing more subpoenas tonight. The committee met in executive session and discussed the issuance of additional subpoenas in accordance with the process that we went through last time. Once those subpoenas are served, uh, we'll let you know uh, who those uh, subjects were of the subpoenas, but again, we don't want them to find out on the 6 o'clock news. We want them to find out when they receive the subpoenas. Asked how many new subpoenas are going out, Wisniewski said he believes they number more than a dozen. At the State House, I'm Michael Aaron, NJTV News. And Michael Aaron standing by live for us in the committee room. Uh, Michael Chairman Wisniewski has his timetable. We have our own, I suppose. Has anything leaked from that room about who might be getting subpoenaed? And for that matter, do we know whether they're going after individuals to testify or merely their records? Mike, we don't know who those other subpoenas are going to. Uh, John Wisniewski said that he wanted to see, uh, he wanted those people to receive the subpoenas before the news media notifies them. Uh, I think the surprise here today was that the focus is still going to be on Bridget Kelly and Bill Stepien. When David Wildstein took the fifth, this committee found him in contempt and referred that contempt charge to the Mercer County Prosecutor's Office. We've heard nothing out of that office. What steps they plan to take with Kelly and Stepien are still unclear. Michael, the other thing that's going around right now, and I want to be very careful where we tread with this, but there have been newspaper headlines alluding to the fact that the governor, uh, in his travels back and forth to Manhattan in the period in question during the lane closings, may have taken a helicopter, and there are some reports seemingly indicating that it's possible, according to some reporters, that Mr. Wildstein might have been on the helicopter with the governor. These are all reports, nothing confirmed. We certainly aren't confirming them. Is the committee going to go down that road? Uh, John Wisniewski and Loretta Weinberg were asked that question here about an hour ago. It, it sounded in their answers as if the committee will take a look at that. However, I'm told that the governor's office has put out information suggesting that Governor Christie did take the helicopter home from the World Trade Center site uh, after the 9-11 ceremony that day, home to Trenton to work but that David Wildstein was not on that helicopter ride and that David Wildstein has never flown the state helicopter with the governor. In fact, what they're saying, uh, Colin Reed, the governor's spokesman, said they've never shared a helicopter uh, together with the, uh, during Governor Christie's time as governor and that they say that the governor took a ferry in on that 9-11 uh, observance day from Jersey City and then flew out by helicopter. Michael, uh, I understand they're going to take also, there might be some Senate activity tomorrow looking into whether or not the governor can actually use uh, some of the campaign cash that they seek to assess themselves to uh, for the purpose of legal defense? That's right, Mike. Uh, the Election Law Enforcement Commission is meeting tomorrow morning to consider 
whether to allow the Christie campaign to use campaign funds to pay for his legal defense. At the same time, the Senate Oversight Committee, led by Senator Bob Gordon, the Democrat, is holding a Sandy hearing here at the State House. Uh, that committee has invited Department of Community Affairs Commissioner Richard Constable and Governor's uh, Office of Rebuilding uh, Czar Ark Ferzan to testify. <clears throat> And the last information we got just a few minutes ago is that those officials will not be testifying tomorrow. Also, I should just add the governor's going to Chicago in his capacity as chairman of the Republican Governors Association. All right, Michael Aaron for us live in the committee room at the State House tonight. Thank you, Michael.